I don't recommend your changing your meditations. Okay. Once you start with the Brahma Viharas, stay with the Brahma Viharas. I'm not real sure what why it is, but there's a real fascination with the breath meditation. And almost everybody that does a breath meditation does not follow the directions of the suttas. And where you get, say, in a 10-day retreat with the Brahma Viharas, doing the breath meditation to get to the same level is going to take between six and eight weeks. It's a lot different because it's hard to keep with your daily activities. It's easy to carry around loving kindness and radiate that. But if something happens and your mind gets a little disturbed, are you going to say, wait a minute, I got to take a couple breaths? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So you, you're not as sharp with your daily activities when you're doing the breath meditation. David and I were just listening to a guy talking about the breath meditation and he talked about the space in between the breaths, like that was something special. And Oh, it's infinite space. There's just nothing for a brief moment. But if you don't have the relaxed step on the in-breath and the relaxed step on the out-breath, you're not doing it in the correct way. And it just takes longer to do that kind of meditation. I'm personally, I'm hooked on the Brahma Viharas because... Your progress is so fast. And that's one of the advantages that the Buddha talks about when you're doing loving kindness meditation or the Brahma Viharas. Your progress is the fastest. It's faster than any other kind of meditation. It's really kind of interesting attachments that people can have to the breath. I did the breath meditation for 20 years. I'm very well knowledge in the breath meditation. When I decided to start doing loving kindness meditation, after the first sitting, I didn't have the breath coming up and distracting my mind because I made the determination, now I'm going to be doing loving-kindness meditation. But people get attached to the idea, well, this is what the Buddha taught. Actually, he didn't teach that near as much as he did the Brahma Viharas. He taught the Brahma Viharas a lot. Why? Because your progress is fast. And there is real personality change with the Brahma Viharas. With the breath meditation, not so much. There's not so much personality development. And it's much slower. So, if you just make up your mind, this is a meditation I'm going to do then the breath won't come in and disturb you. If it does come in, use the six R's and go back to the, the object of meditation, which is metta or whatever. One of the reasons that the Buddha did the breath meditation was because that was what was pretty prevalent during his lifetime. Everybody was doing the breath meditation. Some people were talking about holding your breath. 
he did that a lot and found out that it does nothing but bring a lot of pain. It's a lot of, uh, make, makes your whole body ache. And it's not, doesn't lead to happiness. It doesn't lead to an uplifted mind. And the Buddha was real big about having an uplifted mind. He was real big about learning how to be compassionate to all beings in all situations. 